So the final technique we'll take a look at for scaling is manual scaling. Now I'm going to hide the family layer in the layers panel just so it doesn't get in the way for the moment. And then I'll click on my tree and drag this down onto the hillside. Pick up my zoom tool and zoom in and get a good clear view of that and switch to my selection tool. Now, again, we see the bounding box and when you scale manually, you are required to hover your cursor over one of the corner points. The reason why the corner points is the ideal place to go is because you've got a better chance of uniformly scaling whatever it is you're about to edit. You'll then notice that uh, your cursor changes in appearance to a diagonally double headed arrow, which is the scale symbol. And then from here, hold the shift key down on the keyboard and then click and drag. That will uniformly scale. Without which, if I just take my finger off the shift key, you can do things like this. And that's not what we want in this case, but that's how you would scale disproportionately. But as I say, for the most part, you'll need to hold down the shift key so we don't distort the artwork in there like so. When you've finished scaling, release the left mouse button and then the shift key afterwards. Now notice that if I was scaling from the top right corner, when you click and drag, you are dragging either away or closer to the opposite corner. That's how it always works. If I go to the top left corner and click and drag, it scales down to the bottom right corner when I drag closer to it or drag and pull further away. It is also possible to scale to the center of an object. And that's done by hovering your cursor again over one of the corner points, hold down the shift key, click and drag, but then hold down the alt key as well. If you drag away from the object, notice that it scales from its center. If I drag back to the center of the object, it scales to its center. So that is how you can scale things back towards their center rather than from one corner to another. That's with the alt key held down. And again, release the left mouse button and release the keys on the keyboard. Now that technique is particularly handy if you want to scale things like a circle and you want to keep the middle of the circle exactly where it is and just increase or decrease the size of it. And that is manual scaling.